My name is Tristan Long. Uh, this is Nacho. Uh, I am an assistant uh, professor of biology here at Wilfrid Laurier University, and Nacho is a Chihuahua. That's an excellent question. Why are there many breeds, so many different breeds of cats and dogs? Well, to understand that, you really need to understand how populations, not only how species change over time. Dogs, as we know them, are descendants of uh, wolves, Canis lupus. I have a gray wolf skull here. Dogs have been domesticated probably several times uh, during human history, most recently between 15 to 33,000 years ago. The process of domestication is uh, a process in which individuals, humans, uh, impose some selection, either directly or indirectly, on another species. And that changes the genetic composition of the species. So the early wolves that would be associated with humans, certain uh, wolves did better being associated with humans and over time a new distinct uh, subspecies uh, what we call Canis lupus familiaris or the common dog uh, evolved. Certain traits that uh, are not seen in wolves become apparent in dogs. Dogs are far more social, far less dominant uh, than wolves and that's probably because of selection acting on uh, their ancestors. Now today we have many, many different varieties or breeds of dogs. And that's just different varieties of selection acting. Some uh, dogs, like a lot of humans, all differ in terms of their physical traits, their outward appearance. Some of that variation has a genetic basis. Now, if some genetic varieties have a greater chance of success, surviving and reproducing than others, then those alleles, those sequences of DNA, become more popular and more common in that uh, gene pool, in that population. And so uh, we, in the past, probably certain varieties, certain uh, uh, traits showed up, and people selectively bred those individual, uh, for those particular traits. Some dogs were selected for their ability to hunt, some for their ability to scent for, to herd, some to detect scent, and some like Nacho probably just for companionship. And over time we see changes within each lineage uh, as the phenotype, the outward appearance of those breeds changes from one generation to the next. The breeds of dogs really are mostly superficial. Uh, they're almost identical at the genetic level. They can in interbreed with each other. We see a lot of, uh, of uh, things like uh, cockapoos as a cross between a uh, chihuahua and a poodle, uh, I believe. Uh, but the, the varieties are really because the certain traits favored by humans get selected uh, upon. These traits are probably not ones that would be selected for in nature. I'm not sure Nacho would do so well out in the cold, cruel world. But uh, as a pet, she is uh, well loved and uh, the product of, of generations of generations of selection. Thank you very much.